I'm going to show you where I get my pictures and photos that I use in my thumbnails and sometimes in the videos as well. I'm going to cut right to the chase. I get my pictures from three websites, Pixbay, Pickjumbo and publicdomainpictures.net. I'm just going to paste these over here and I'm going to put these links into the description of this video. So you can just click it and check out these uh, websites. There are a lot of ads on some of these. So you will often click on the external uh, websites that offer stock photos that are higher quality than these free ones. But for basic stuff, it works pretty well. So for example, if you need a thumbnail where somebody is holding a phone, you can just search for that. Okay, I'm going to search here as well. Hold phone. Hold phone. There we go. These pictures can be used. I recognize this model. She is actually by one of the, here, there she is. I think originally these pictures might be posted on this website. These photos are public domain or, or Creative Commons Zero. So there is overlap because they can reuse each other's pictures. Uh, Pickjumbo seems to have more unique pictures, but uh, much, much smaller selection. Still pretty cool pictures. And now you can use these and use them in your thumbnails or in your video as static pictures. So over here, I would go to a picture page and click free download. And that gets me this picture over here. Pick Jumbo. Let's see which one do I want? I guess I'll take this one, All right? I go to the page and click download free photo. Um, all right, it, it starts downloading this one. I can close and over here on Pixbay, I will pick this photo and click free download. And usually the second to last resolution is good enough for me. So I'm just going to download that. I think creating an account here is required for the max resolution one, which is okay. I just use a temporary email for that. So here are the photos. I usually use Inkscape to edit my thumbnails and then I would just put them in there and uh, drag them around to scale them, stuff like that. Now I did make another video where I show you how to remove backgrounds. Check that one out. Basically no more white background and you can use it in a foreground while having other things in the background now. I really just wanted to show you really quickly what websites I use to get pictures. If you have other suggestions which websites to use, please let me know in the comments. I used to use Wikimedia Commons, but it was just too much of a hassle usually. I hope this is useful for you. Until next time, ciao!